In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a much simpler version of the Arduino EMC interface that I've shown in my previous videos. I'm starting off here by showing the circuit that I'm using for this. Uh, you can see here I have the Arduino board, and over here on the breadboard, I have a switch that incorporates two LEDs. Uh, but you could just as easily do this circuit with uh, two just plain individual LEDs and a regular push-button switch. Over here, we have the switch side wired up with a uh, pull-down uh, resistor. And over here on this side, we have two uh, resistors uh, hooked up to the Arduino. And uh, the common side of the LEDs is hooked up to the positive rail. Uh, the LEDs get switched on by pulling either or both of the pins to low, which effectively completes the circuit and lets current flow through. And of course we have the resistors to limit the current as necessary. You can do this, like I said, with just regular plain old LEDs. Just make sure that you get the polarity in the correct direction. So over here, what I'm going to do is start up uh, EMC and we'll double click there and we can watch it start up and we'll just expand that and if we look over here now we can see and I'll hold the light here that the LED has illuminated red what I've done here with this LED is I've hooked it up to the uh, machine on and off switch um, Pushing the switch will make the machine state change, so if it's off, it turns it on. You push it once for off and once for on. It's sort of like a flip-flop. And uh, when the machine goes to on or off, the switch color will change accordingly. So right now it's red since the machine is off. Now I've released the e-stop so that we can turn the machine on. If I press that, you'll notice that it changes to green and if I press it again you'll notice that it changes back to red. Let me try turning the lights out here and see if we can get that color a little bit better. So it's red and the machine is on and the machine is off. I'll also change it here by clicking on the UI in Axis and we can see that that responds to changes coming in from there as well. And if you go to my blog at ckcnc.wordpress.com, uh, you'll find a more thorough ex uh, description as well as uh, the sample code to do this on your own. Good luck.